What's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nicole. My channel is all about home decor, home DIY renovation projects, lifestyle and art, a little bit of entrepreneurship and mommyhood in there as well. Um, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I've been really um, kind of taking you guys on my journey to DIY renovate my first house one project at a time. So I've done my kitchen. I think my kitchen is like the only space I feel like is fully renovated um, for a while. I'm the type of person that likes to switch it up. So maybe in a couple years or so, I'll probably do something different, depending on how long I keep the house. Um, but yeah, so lately I've been working on my bathroom, one of the bathrooms, the bathroom that's in my bedroom. So um, my last few videos is kind of little small projects to kind of slowly transform that and get it to where I want it to be. I'm trying to get it to be a spa bathroom, my bathroom where I can come home um, or just get away without getting away, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have some great content, especially if you're either a first time homeowner, uh, if you're a fixer upper type of person where you want to like maybe flip houses because that's my end goal. Um, or if you are thinking about purchasing your first home and you may not be able to really afford or get every single thing that you want in the home that you sleep in the homes that you're looking at you can do certain diy projects yourself or renovation projects yourself to make that house you know a home or to what you want it to be so i feel like my channel will help that help you help you with that sorry um and also just like little stuff around the house or if you live in a house apartment or wherever you live some of the little things that i'm learning to do on my own especially for my ladies out there who are working girls like you like to um, do things on your own or if you want to kind of get away from having to pay someone or call a man every time you need certain things done around the house um, or if you just like need tips or tricks on like how to keep your house clean and organized especially if you like do a million and one things like I do my channel will be helpful for you too so last week I actually um, replaced the handle on the toilet I was in the process of like sl slowly starting to like do the shower towel shower floor all of this like uh, mm, I don't know what you call it, but all that type of stuff. And then I pushed a push pause because the handle um, wouldn't flush in the bathroom, and because I use that bathroom in the middle of the night, so I have to go down the hall to use the bathroom. Something happened. I don't know how but it broke, and I replaced it. So I'll link in the cards the video to that, so that if you're, you know, if you feel like, oh my God, my handle broke, where I can't flush the toilet, I have to manually flush it. It's super easy to change out and super cheap to buy a new handle, even like the cute, cute one. So check out that video. Super helpful if anything like that ever happens to you and you just want to fix it out or fix it up and like swap it out. Um, today, since the handle broke on the toilet, I was like, okay, let me just, um, because this wasn't a brand new house when I purchased it, but I was like, let me um, swap out the toilet seat. Um, so the handle I got, it was like, a um, chrome, chrome silver. So then I found a toilet seat in Home Depot. Um, but I was like, let me just change the seat out because certain things, if you, if you literally walk around the home improvement stores, certain things that you think might look super expensive and extravagant in some people's homes actually isn't that expensive at all. And then I feel like some of the uh, items or certain things that you want done, it might cost a lot for you to get someone else to do it. But if you look into how to get it done, it's usually pretty simple and affordable. Some of the, some of the, um, or the bulk of some of the expense usually comes from like um, the, the, you know, the labor, obviously. So certain things you can do yourself. Certain things might be like heavy where well, you can probably get a friend to help you or whatever, but it's a lot of projects around the house that you can do on a budget um, and with little effort. If you, yeah, a little effort. So today I'm going to take you guys into the bathroom, show you how I swap out the toilet seat. So the toilet seat that's in there, nothing's wrong with it technically, but I want a fresh one and I wanted the one that had the same type of chrome um, 
on the little uh fixtures on the toilet i wanted the same type of chrome that matches the new handle so then i'll probably start to go in with um certain little chrome uh finishes throughout the bathroom to help kind of create a look and bring the whole bathroom together i wanted to do the black you know that everybody y'all have to know the the modern black on white look very popular right now it's been very popular for a couple of years now but i was like you know let me let me not do too much because i might sell the house in a couple of years and i want you know i want it to be more marketable by just having like neutral you know a neutral look versus that high contrast for the black and white so that's the plan right now if i decide to change it i can always spray paint all of the finishes in the bathroom to get that look and it'll be like super cheap and it'll be a fun little project for me to work on so let me take you guys into the bathroom please um subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already shout out to all of you beautiful ladies mostly ladies watching my channel which why not so shout out to you all for really taking my videos using it and being inspired to actually do certain renovation projects in your home as well and just know that this is a no judgment zone i say that in like all of my videos I don't judge you don't judge me we're in this together we're in here to help each other i'm going to show y'all what i'm working on and all of the comments etc your videos it's just going to help me so this is what youtube is for for me this is what i use youtube for is to learn certain things so let's do this together i'm gonna take you guys into the bathroom i'm gonna show y'all the uh new toilet seat that i picked out and i'm gonna show you guys me changing it i will hopefully if i find gloves i will wear gloves this time because Changing the toilet handle, I didn't, and that was a no-no. I scrubbed my hands like crazy afterwards, but that was a no-no. So, let's get into the video. Okay, y'all, so this is the toilet seat that I purchased. It's by, uh, what is it, Bemis? Yeah, Bemis, Bemis, whatever. Um, so, just unboxing it. It came with all of the tools that you need, um, aside from, like, a screwdriver or wrench, which um, the instructions tells you that you need those, as both a screwdriver and a wrench. But it came with all of the pieces that, um, obviously, to put the seat on, to tighten it, like the little, I don't know, bolts, whatever you want to call it, caps, whatever. So I just wanted to show y'all that. Not a whole lot of pieces, so pretty simple. Like, wasn't even intimidating at all when I opened the um, package because it only came with the seat <laughs> and a few like three little pieces to attach each side so six pieces in total the instructions were clear pictures and words step one through what six um so i just started looking over the instructions kind of preparing to get my little tools together head into the bathroom okay so this is the old seat y'all I don't know about y'all, but I never really thought about changing my toilet seats. Um, I just always like clean it weekly or whatever, but I never thought about actually changing the toilet seats. But I think I should change them regularly, like maybe once or twice a year. Drop a comment in the comments below to let me know if you change your toilet seats frequently. If so, how often? Because I'm new to this stuff. Um, I'm coming from being a renter in the past. So things that, you know, it wasn't my apartment or whatever. So it's like, why would I do any of that stuff? So um and this toilet seat it toilets get so dirty i just don't get it i mean we all know this is where we use the bathroom mats but it just gets so dirty so um, i took the screws off to get rid of the old seat um so there's like the screws on the top and then this part right here is what um screw, unscrews the, the little bottom part the one underneath the seat and look at this under this caveat so dirty so disgusting like but it's life if you we all have to use the bathroom so we all know what goes in the toilet which is why i use gloves this time but look at all that when i took it up so dirty um and then the seat the actual seat part you see it's like discolored a little bit i don't know what that is but i'm like let me just swap it out Let's try to freshen this whole bathroom up so for this part i just kind of cleaned excuse the toilet but i mean don't judge me i don't judge y'all i told y'all that already in the beginning but it's just like dirt who knows what all this i don't even know how some of this stuff gets here but clean your toilets weekly it is what it is weekly daily whatever you want to do but just clean it real good before you actually install the fresh and new toilet seat because who wants to put a fresh new toilet seat over um a dirty uh you know toilet bowl 
look at this y'all so cute my little cleaner from home goods favorite store i was trying to get you know instead of getting a little white little ugly one i just wanted one that goes with the aesthetic that i'm trying to accomplish in the bathroom so these little silver pieces on the um new toilet seat you're supposed to like stick it in the holes and i'm just kind of trying to fit it in wiggle it around to see you know are these supposed to turn so they can fit in place or what um but yeah you it, the instructions are very clear so it's not hard at all like i said it's not a whole lot of pieces instructions are clear pictures and words step by step so you're supposed to screw the um two little screws that they give you um one on each side screw it into the actual toilet seat first and then place those um on the toilet there's also another piece you'll see in a second before you put it on the toilet so screw these silver things in then you'll have this little um white piece that goes on it then you put it on the toilet seat um screw those all the way down as the instruction says and then once you do that on each side then you're going to um, go ahead and put it on top of the toilet y'all make sure you stay tuned to this whole video because there's some important information especially if you plan on using this video as a guide to actually change your own toilet seat you don't want to miss and i'm not going to give a spoiler until that part of the video comes so you got to stay tuned you got to keep watching so screw these all the way down you guys Screw it down. Took a little while. I sped up this part, but it's still um, kind of slow because for for some reason, one of them, like I think it's this one right here that I'm doing, it, it just took forever to turn. Like this one was a little bit uh, tight, like I don't know, tighter or, oh no, looser maybe. Harder to, you know, like fit in place. So it took me a minute to do that. But nonetheless, this proce this process and project overall it's super easy once you you know figure out exactly what you have to do so screw that on tightly and then you're supposed to fit this onto the toilet so you see right here the, the little um chrome part it's looking a little weird because it's not really looking it's just looking a little weird and I just knew this at this point I'm like this looks weird it doesn't look like it's going to fit into place but okay I'm going to continue to follow the instructions and you know just see how it goes but it just didn't feel comfortable it didn't feel like it was the right fit for some reason but I'm like okay let me just move on to the next step um screw the little white piece onto the right here underneath on the bottom of the toilet and that would um secure the actual seat on to or the actual yeah seat onto the, the toilet bowl so then i was like okay let me maybe these white pieces are for so didn't quite, quite get there yet so try to i just tried everything that i could to try to like fit it in place and it was kind of hard y'all see me having to get all the way down to look under to see if it's um if this white piece is on the screw properly like or in the right Sorry, that's a lot to explain. In the exact right position to like tighten this. So I'm looking in the instructions again. I'm just trying to figure out why is it so hard to put this in place. Like I'm literally like two steps away from being done, but it's so hard to put this in place. It was kind of weird. So you see right here, once I tightened it, this is how it looked. That is not how the toilet seat is supposed to look. I'm like, okay. First of all, nobody likes, I don't know about y'all, comment in the comments below if you hate sitting on a, a loose, wiggly toilet seat. Like, I don't want to sit on a wiggly toilet seat. It feels uncomfortable. So, I was getting a little frustrated here, but that's what this video is for, to help really show you guys my experience. So, if you decide to change your toilet seat, like I said, you won't have any of the issues I have because you have, you would have watched this video, you would have learned some things, and you'll be more prepared than I was, or you'll, you'll kind of set yourself up properly so what i was doing right here is just trying to continue to screw it in tighter i pushed the little things down to try to like fit it in but okay guys hopefully you got this far in the video but tip make sure you get the right size and right shape and brand toilet seat when you're trying to replace because this this seat i didn't pay attention to the brand that i had at home <coughs> But the seat that I got, this seat, it says fits most. 
So I'm just assuming it was going to fit, but it's too big or something is off. So let me show you. So this is how the toilet seat it was looking once it was on the bowl. It's much bigger. I don't know if y'all can tell. It's much bigger and like the shape is just off. It's just off. I think I'm about to run. I don't know where this receipt is. I think I'm about to run to Home Depot and just get another seat. Oh, God. Um, I don't know if I have the receipt to this, so I don't know if they'll take this one back, but we'll see. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So I'm actually on my way to Home Depot. And I was like, I thought it said once I fit, fits all. I might have been must have been talking about something else that I purchased from Home Depot because I just looked on the back of this box and it said it's an elongated um, and then it gave the size guide on the back for elongated versus round toilet and my toilet seat is round um, and it gave the measurements so totally my fault so if you guys are changing your toilet seat definitely um, Check the measurements before and double check the shape before you actually go buy a toilet seat, a new a replacement. Um because I didn't. I thought it was all just standardized for real. So um Yeah, and I don't I think I threw away the receipt. So I'm thinking I think I'm just gonna have an extra toilet seat. Uh, I guess I'll find someone to give it to. I don't I'll, I guess I can also check the toilets in other parts of the house to see if any are elongated. So I'm not sure. But I'm really mad about that because I was really, now the toilet in that bathroom literally has no seat. So if anybody tries to use it, they're shit out of luck. Because, I mean, you could just squat, I guess. But there's no seat on it. And I'm not putting the old one back on because it's like, not nah, ready to take it off and it's dirty. So we'll see. I know. I know personally they they probably not going to take it back because even though it's like I still have all of the wrapping and tools and everything in the box I don't think they're gonna take it back so I'm not even gonna bring it in the store with me but I will ask when I go in there if they take uh, things back without a receipt if not I'll just try to use it in another part of the house or um, give it to somebody how this goes all right guys i'm back these are the two boxes this is the old one it says elongated and this is the new one that says round i should have got the round one because my toilet is round. all right y'all i'm back with the new seat so it looks exactly the same it doesn't look as cute in the round version but same thing just shorter and like round so let's see all right guys let's try this again so i went ahead and put the um, first piece onto the the first two steps got it out of the way so I didn't even show that and then I just went ahead and tightened the bottom part on so this is how it's looking it feels a little more comfortable and it looking it's looking a little more right so I went ahead I just tested it out first and then I went ahead and screwed this final piece on so same exact step same exact instruction instructions as the first toilet seat just a different shape you know what I mean so it fits more properly um I the positions I had to get into like actually tighten this was like crazy but got it done so hopefully you guys learn a little bit that you know one double check your shape and size of your toilet seat first before you actually buy a replacement something I did not do okay so this is how the bathroom is looking that's my toilet handle up there this is a new toilet seat so you see the chrome matches the handle um, and then, yeah, baby steps, baby steps on revamping this bathroom, you guys, baby steps. All right, fam, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope my mistake in this video helped you or helps you if you decide to change your toilet seat. Um, yeah, so here it is so far. So drop a comment if you like this video, if you feel like it's useful, if you plan on changing your toilet seats, let me know. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already. And let me know what I should do next in this bathroom to really get things going. See you guys next week.